Hi, and welcome to my guide of the quest Death on the Isle. The quest requirement is Children of the Sun, and the stat requirements are 32 Agility and 34 Thieving. Also, you will need to have the ability to be able to defeat a combat 49 barehandedly, though you are able to use every prayer of your liking. There are no items needed, and for the recommendations is just two empty inventory slots. And for the teleports is just simply one teleport away after the quest is completed. We can start this quest here on the island of Eldrin. How to get to the island of Eldrin is either via ship, POH, fairing or Quetzal. Once here at the quest start, let's talk to Patsy and select option 1 to start the quest. There's a party tonight at Villa Lucens, just here to our east, home to an almighty patron who is going to show his new play at his new theater. And Patsy wants to attend and needs us to be a butler for him so we can better fit in. Next, let's head north northwest as Adala suggests that we steal the butler uniform from the house up north. Just north of the cabbage allotment, between the two trellises, enter the house window. But you're only able to do this if the wandering guard is not looking at you. Once inside, in the northwestern corner, let's search the cupboard, search the wardrobe, and let's exit. Let's make our way back to Patsy. Let's talk to Adela, and she will head inside. Then, we will also need to head inside, also via the staff entrance. To do so, let's head east and follow the hedgerow south to the head butler. All the way there, let's wear our butler uniform and talk to the head butler. Keep pressing space and select option 1 and this will remove everything from our equipment as well as our inventory. Let's head inside and just south of the dungeon sign of the Stellar there will find next to some crates Patsy. Let's talk to him and after speaking to him we will need to talk to the four guests. These are all the NPCs that are not wandering with a tray. So the first one closest to me is Koya Zak. Then Constantinus. And then in the southwestern room should be two more NPCs. Pavo and uh, Ksokotla. Ksokotla. Why is Ksokotla not in the southwestern room? Where? Well, there she is. Let's also talk to her. And after speaking to the fourth NPC, let's return back to Patsy. As we've spoken to Constantinius, Patsy might get sponsored by him. And now Patsy wants to celebrate by drinking a discontinued wine from the guy that is going to sponsor him. Without asking. Anyway, let's go to the dungeon sign and enter the cellar entrance. Let's make our way south, until we can't go any further. To the southern wall, you will find antique wine. Investigate it, and by doing so, you will hear some glass shattering in the other part of the cellar, which causes you to get a wine stain on yourself. Next, let's go east and you will find a yellow dot on your minimap. Go towards it and click on that body. Check on man. Click to continue and you will get arrested and interrogated. Keep pressing space until the conversation is over. Since the red stain on our uniform is wine and the guard kind of wanted a taste of it, to make sure that it isn't blood, you're kind of in a clear and you decide to help the two guards with the murder investigation. Next, let's head back downstairs, back down into the cellar. 
Next to this test, we should find a searchable, investigatable wine jug next to a crate. Search it, click to continue. Then head south into the southern room and there we should find a small box. Search that one as well. Click to continue, southeast. Southeast of the wine storage, there's a broken stool. Investigate that, click to continue. Then go into the eastern room and next to the archway doorway, there will find a half full wine storage. Click to it to investigate and click to continue. Then a bit southeast, they'll find broken pottery. And then lastly, south, let's check up on the dead body. Next, let's go back upstairs and talk to the owner or the host, as well as the three guests. So these are Koziak, Pavo and, Xo and Xokotla as the guests, and then the host, Konstantinius. After you've spoken to the four NPCs, let's head back into the main room and on the carpet they will find the two guards. Let's talk to any of them and select option 1 twice. Then hover your mouse over Adala, who is standing next to Pasla, until a pickpocket option appears. Once the conversation is over and the pickpocket is there, let's do so, as well as pickpocketing the guests whom are Koziak, Pavo, and then the woman in the southwestern room, Xokotla, Once you've obtained these four items, click on all four of them and then talk to any of the two guards. Then let's select option 1 and everyone will head upstairs to the top floor. The third person on the western side, let's talk to Pavo and let's go anti-clockwise around every single person. Doesn't really matter which order you talk to everyone, you simply need to talk to everyone until there is a yes or no option in your chat box. Do so with every single NPC. After you've spoken to the three guests, the host, then finally Adala, by pressing option 2 and accusing her, this will start the boss fight against a combat of 49. Now you can use protection prayers if you want to. Now to speed things up, I suggest you to use offensive prayers. Once you defeated her, she will admit that she was at the party solely to steal. And then she gets escorted away by the guards. Now the host still wants to continue his play in his theater. Continue through the conversation and everyone will be at his theater. Now we can't go in there for some reason and we will need to go another way around. So once everyone has left, let's go back downstairs and exit the house west. Then follow the path south and keep following the path until you find some loose rocks. Click on it to navigate and climb up.
Then, just a bit up north, navigate to the more loose rocks to go back down and you'll find the two guards. Talk to any of the two, and they will suggest you to go into the backstage, which is also the dungeon sign on your minimap. Let's go downstairs and talk to the Kostuma. Once you get two options, just next to her, next to the stairs, you'll find a crate. Search it. Next, go west to the bookcase and search it as well. Then go north and the most northern costume rack, search it, and then talk to the costumer. This time, select option 2231. What is the crate of poison for? It seems one of the costumes has a stain on it. Did you know that there was a hidden passage here? And then finally, option 1, what can you tell me about the actus? After you've selected these options, we will need to make our way back upstairs and return to the guards. Let's talk to the guards and select option 5 and then 3, which is then more options and nightly, nightly, nightly. More options and then nightly. After we've accused nightly, we will have a fade to black and the boxes will be removed. Oh, not yet. Let's first accuse Natalie, who's standing on stage, by simply talking to her, and we will attack her with a prop sword. Next, follow her, click to attack, and this will spawn the accomplice. Let's click on him. He will flee away, then attack Natalie. Hit for 8 damage, then follow her. Attack her one more time. And this is basically the quest completed, I think. She does not admit to poisoning him. She did trip him to give him a small injury to put him out of action so that he will not be able to perform tonight. But with him being intoxicated and falling harder than expected, she panicked and ran away. And congratulations, you've completed Death on the Isle. You are awarded with 2 quest points, 10,000 thieving, 7,500 agility, and 5,000 crafting XP. And you now also have the ability to use a costume needle. And that is a needle that does not consume thread. To be able to obtain this, you will need to talk to the costumer backstage. You can do so by walking via the theater or going underground via the cellar. If you destroy it, then you should be able to get it back from the costumer. Nice. Now there are also some additional rewards. When you right click on the host, Constantinus, and pickpocket. And this will open a chest in the cellar. Wait, did it get nothing? What do you mean I get nothing? Once you've opened the chest, go back upstairs and go back to the southwestern fountain. The one that we have passed on our way to the navigationable loose rocks. Search that fountain for an icon. And if we take this icon up north, northeast of the town of the general store port looking thing, there we'll find a statue. Use the icon on it. And this will reward you with one water rune as well as a pendant of Ates teleport location. Now I'm not really sure what item uses that teleport. The next reward is a butler uniform. If you destroy it and you want to reclaim it, then go upstairs to the middle floor and take the uniform from a wardrobe. Another reward is talking to the head butler in the kitchen. By talking to him, you'll be able to get a couple of animal masks as well as a butler tray. And finally, for the best reward, the dog that was running around during the party now is or you're able to pet it. This makes another sound. On the other account, it actually barked. Weird. How to get out of here? Well, you, you're able, you have free access now via the, uh, the entrance gate. Alright, subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.